hey, what's up? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I know my day is going to get a whole lot better pretty soon because I'm opening up this mountain of boxes here. Mainly toy soldiers, but some other stuff as well. Some uh, Airfix toys that I've been wanting to collect. Going to put that in the other side of Airfix series. Uh, one especially I'm pretty excited about. Paid 400 euros for it with shipping and taxes from the UK. So I'm hoping it uh, delivers <laughs> on the promise from the box art. And also that it is in the condition that the pictures and the seller told me. But anyways, let's just get started. So let's see what we got here. This one is from Germany. Nice. A bunch of uh, German infantry in varying condition, I think. Yeah, maybe 50, 60 soldiers, something like that. Maybe even more, maybe like 70, 80. I have to check the listing again to see. But it looks like they're pretty okay shape. So running through the cleaner and uh, see what I got. Cool. Next one. Uh, this one from Italy. Whoa. Nice. I really like the air uh, Airfix uh, footballers. And a while back I realized that Timpo with their action packs had made one set as well. It says 11 players. Really nice box art. All right, some cool stuff here, yeah. Let's see how they look. They are pink. I wonder if this goal actually, and this little bench, if it actually goes with the set. They look pretty cool. The referee. I'm going to do a video on, on this, of course, and compare it also to the Airfix uh, footballers. Just wanted to check them out real quick. Cool. Let's do the next one. Here's one from Germany. Yeah, this is kind of silly. Uh, not that exciting maybe to you guys, but to me, this is really cool. I had these rock features and these sandbags things as a kid. I re even remember them being whole like this. Mine were a lot more cracked and whatnot, but these are really cool. I'm not even sure who made these. If these are like blue box from Hong Kong or who made these first. And I'm going to try to find the military set that these came with. Uh, yeah, uh, cool to me, <laughs> maybe a bit boring to you, but yeah, toys are always fun. Next one. Another one from uh, Germany. Yeah, nice. Uh, I'm getting, trying to get all the brown box with a round logo that were only produced, was it in 1972, I believe? So they're kind of harder to come by than the, than the one with the rectangular logo on there. So this is cool. Not a big deal, but a cool little addition to uh, the collection. Next one. So here's one from Belgium. So different uh, manufacturer toy soldiers. I'm not that good with anything but uh, Airfix and Matchbox. But I wanted to do some comparison with other manufacturers. And you guys probably know these a lot better than me, which are Marks and which are Timmy Timmy toys and these should be Herald units from England and that's the kind of thing I wanted to have a look at as well because most of the stuff from England came pre-painted like Britons and Heralds and stuff like that but most of the US stuff didn't come painted you know bigger box you know army builder maybe 50 60 soldiers and then for the for the English figures you usually got a smaller amount but uh, painted so kind of cool next one here's one from the u.s i think this is um actually a really cool addition to the collection that is fairly hard to come by in europe and it's the airfix CTS copy of the Airfix Sherman that was never made. Supposedly these were made with uh, the molds from um, from Airfix that they never produced. This one I'm actually going to take out of the bag later and do a, a quick video on um, a little set I'm thinking about doing. And I'm actually going to 
put it together with this, which is also, I believe, a CTS Shiha tank. So I'm making up a make-believe uh, combat set with these two. Kind of cool. Next one. Ooh, this is a heavy one from the UK. I think I know what this is. <laughs> Can you say Airfix uh, German toy soldiers? I got a whole box. This is heavy. So I'm not sure why I got those painted ones. I guess I just wanted more. But I'm doing this for, for a little fun project, outdoors project. And I realized I have so many more Allied troops. US, British paratroopers, British commandos, uh, British infantry support group and all of those. And I was kind of missing quite a few uh, German soldiers. So I've been collecting or getting together a, you know, a big old pile of German infantry. Kind of cool. I think this is a couple of hundred of them. All right. Anyways, next one. So another one from the UK, a big one this time. And this is um, not tall soldiers. This is, this is Airfix um, toys. Yes, Airfix flight deck. Imagine seeing this in the toy store when you were a kid. Wow. This is so cool. You can play with it outside, I guess. You have to actually suspend it there. Uh, I wonder how it looks inside. Box is very nice. Condition also. Ooh, more bubble wrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is very good. Nice packaging. Let's see the control panel. You can get even get it out. This is actually I can't get it out now because it's this is mint in the box. Whoa. How cool. Got the airplane holder for the wires and the hook, I guess. It's called it a arrestor hook or something like that. This is very nice. I'm going to do, of course, a video on this as well and set it up and have some of my neighbor's friends, I mean, neighbor's kids play with this and see what they think about it, if it holds up to today's uh, toy standards. Very cool. All right, next one. So final package, also from the UK. So big, it doesn't even fit the frame. This is the one. See if I can open this carefully. So what do you think this is? Of course, I know what it is. Whoa! Holy crap! Whoa! Jeez! So cool! Oh, the box has a little bit of like a cracks, but look at this. One train passes under gantry with bandit in position. Trap door in passenger car roof opens automatically and cowboy drops in. Whoa. Of course, I had, you know, train sets when I was a kid, but I never had anything like this. An actual play set, train set. And this is all mint in box. Whoa. Oh, you got like an, like an exploded rail car. Oh my God, look at this. Imagine getting this when you're a kid. I think <laughs> it blows my mind now, but what? What about, man, look at this. She got a little thing for blowing th something up there, right, for the dynamite. Wow. And then you got the tracks, and I think this is battery operated, so you don't need uh, all the extra stuff for it. I can't believe this. This is so cool. Ooh, can't wait to pack, unpack this, set it up. I'm actually going to set it up and actually use it. I need to try this out. So that's going to come out of the box for the first time ever. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm not speechless, but this is so nice. Whoa. Anyways. Um, oh, actually, wait a minute. I have these two. This one is important because it's actually um, not proving a point, but... Uh, Something that comes up for discussions every now and then with uh, Airfix is that 
were the American infantry in 132, Marines or actually Army infantry. And um, let's see. Let's see, that's not the one, that's not the one. Where is it? Where is it? No. So you see, these are clips from magazines, you know, advertisement. Here you go. This is the one. <laughs> I just bought this just because of this. Because uh, here you see, um, on, on the Pacific theme, you actually have the US 132nd scale, and it says 132nd. So you can buy these three kits separated, I guess, the Bamboo Hut, Japanese, and, and Americans. So that must mean they are actually US Marines, right? Or maybe not, but <laughs> kind of, I just... Uh, <laughs> That's at least how Airfix uh, viewed uh, that set as a Pacific theme. And then I have this one, I can't remember. I think it's just a catalog, but I love catalogs. So let's just have a quick look. Ooh, that's right. Since I wanted to start actually collecting the Airfix uh, trains, now I got this. I wanted to get a catalog too, to see, ooh. I'm sorry for I sound like an owl Ooh, <laughs> the whole time but wow look at this that's the and this is the next one but this one is even harder to find Dr. X adventure train set action module wow so I just wanted to for a reference I want to have this catalog when I started collecting these nice neat I love catalogs, catalogs. but anyways uh, enough of this for this time uh, hopefully I get some more videos on uh, packing things uh, in the near future. I'm buying a bit more stuff again. So, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you did watch, <laughs> thanks for watching, you know, like, subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, catch you guys later. Cheers.